The gate is a connection point for relating a message outside an interaction fragment with a message inside another interaction fragment. And in VPUML, you can create a gate easily by simple simply drag and drop. So let me show you how it works. We got a very simple sequence diagram in here. Say we want to withdraw the user want to withdraw money and he send a message to the ATM controller. Suppose the the back end is another interaction in here. We create the interaction use in here and then we right click on it and select refer to a new sequence diagram. Say we name it as the withdraw money. Like this and we go back to the sequence diagram now we can click on the ATM controller and then drag down the message icon and drop it to the interaction use and we will prompt you to create a new gate just select create a new gate like this now we double click on the withdrawal and the interaction use and it will, it will bring, it, bring us to the sequence diagram now we can drag out the message from the gate to create another lifeline. So you can see it's very simple. And say we go back to the original sequence diagram. And now we add another gate to the to the interaction use. We just select the gate from the diagram toolbar and then drop it to the interaction use and go to this withdraw money sequence diagram you will see the gauge 2 is also created automatically we can then send a message back from the lifeline to the gauge and back to this original sequence diagram and then drag out the message icon to show the return message and the gauge in here actually is sharing uh, the sharing the same model on the on the withdraw money diagram you can just rename it like this. We name the gauge as the input, and let's see what it happened in the withdrawal money diagram. You will see the gauge is also renamed automatically.